Good day grade 10s. Welcome to your first lesson in grade 10 physical science. What we are going to do in this lesson is we're going to revise some of the stuff that you should have learned in grade 8 and 9. And the first thing we're going to look at is properties of matter. So what is matter? Matter is anything that is mass and volume. So basically anything that we can find the mass of, so the pen, the desk you're sitting at, the pencil, your eraser, Everything that has both mass and volume, if it takes up space, it has volume. So anything that has mass and volume is matter. Right, there are two types of matter. There are the natural materials. So if we look very carefully here, you can see that we're talking about your leather, your minerals, your gold, your silver, feathers, rock stones, plants. I think this is chalk, some wool, and more plants. Whereas your man-made materials tend to be your plastics, your pens, your inks for your pens, your glass, your paper, all that type of thing is man-made materials. So there are two types of material, matter, natural and man-made. Properties of matter. There are two types of properties. There are physical properties and chemical properties. Physical properties are the properties that can be seen, felt or measured. Seen, felt or measured. And in this lesson we're mainly going to be looking at what the physical properties of matter are. So we're going to go into that in a second. Physical changes occur without any changes to the molecular composition. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Chemical properties, these cannot be seen or felt, but this is how the substance reacts in a chemical reaction. Right, let's look at our physical properties. First of all, your appearance. Is the thing big or small? What is its size? Is it a teeny little thing or a huge thing? The color, is it red, blue, green? Is it translucent? Is it see-through? And the texture, is it nice and smooth or is it rough? Next in the physical properties is the strength. Is it as tough as diamonds, hard as diamonds? Diamonds are so hard that they can actually cut glass. Where, or is it soft like a cotton wool bud? Thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity is its ability to conduct heat. So if you can see here, we've got a nice little heating pad here, and you can see there's a pan, and this is obviously thermo thermally conductive because otherwise our food wouldn't get hot. Electrical conductivity is the ability to conduct electricity. So yeah, I've got an example of a little potato battery. In fact, I think this might even be a sweet potato battery. And as you can see, what have we got? We've got wires that conduct electricity to make the little LED shine. So that is electrical conductivity. Other physical properties are when it breaks. Is it brittle, like this iPhone? Um, screen which when dropped shatters, is it malleable? In other words, can we bend it? Or is it ductile? In other words, can we pull it out into thin strings like this copper wire? Other physical properties, is it magnetic or non-magnetic? And the density, how dense is it? In other words, is it Got a, has it got very few parts per unit volume or has it got lots? So if you look at this little picture here, which is quite a pretty attractive picture, but it also gives us an idea of densities. If you look very carefully, you can see right at the bottom there's a bolt, an iron bolt. So obviously we know that things that are less dense float on things that are more dense. So right at the top we've got a ping pong ball which is filled with air, which is very, very a very few particles per unit volume. Then if you look very carefully we can see we've got some vegetable oil, yeah we've got water, then we have milk and we know that milk is more dense than water and so on. So the most dense stuff is down here with the honey and the bolt and the least dense stuff is your ping pong ball filled with air and your lamp oil. Other physical properties that you need to look at is the melting point. But let's understand what a melting point is. The melting point is a temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid. So in typical example is when ice slowly melts to form water, that would be the melting point. The boiling point is when liquid becomes gas. So for example, when your water evaporates. So your melting point is at the point when your solid becomes liquid and your boiling point is when your liquid becomes gas. Right, that is all for the physical properties of matter today. I hope you've learned a lot. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, great tens.